Hey hey, Bouncer Yo here and uh, today we are reviewing an app called Emphasis Focus Timer. Uh, this is one of my favorite apps that I've discovered recently so I'm super happy to be able to share it with you guys. Um, so this app is based on something called Pomodoro. It's a way of um, managing your time when you're working um, that kind of breaks up your your work time into a few chunks um, with breaks in between. So we'll get into that. Um, this current app currently has a rating of 5 from 2 ratings um, and uh, it's 21 megabytes. Um, I'm also using iOS 14 uh, which is the new iOS update. So the app store has kind of changed a little now. It seems like they show you a bit more information about the app um, before you download it. So let's go through some screenshots. Um, better focus at work and studies, um, which is the whole point. An unobtrusive timer with a minimalist design. Uh, you have notes and checklists, uh, you have productivity stats, you can personalize the app, and then you have a versatile um, organizer. So uh, let's get into it and open the app and see what's good. So open the app. Um, so when you first open the app, you see this kind of minimalist timer. And the idea is that you can start and stop your timing. Um, and the whole idea is, um, just to show you here, that you set up your work time in chunks of 25 minutes, although you can customize it to be any time that you want. So you can say 30 minutes, for example. But it's generally recommended for Pomodoro that you have a 25 minute work session. Um, I take five minute short breaks in between each session. And then after every four chunks of 25 minutes, I have a long break that's 20 minutes. And then I, I usually aim to do 16 of these a day. It does not mean that I usually reach 16 because I'm lazy as heck. Uh, so um, I, 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 I just, I maybe I reach 12. So we you will see some of my statistics. Um, and you, you'll be able to judge for yourself how many Pomodoros you can do in one day. So one work session is called a Pomodoro. Um, and then you can decide how many sessions lead to a break. So here I've selected the black theme. But you can pretty much select any other theme that uh, suits your fancy. Um, I'm just all about that darkness. Um, you can also select different sounds like the gong, the silo. Like these are, these are the, the kind of dings you get. Um, uh, when, when it's your break time, for example, or when something starts. And then you can also decide whether, whether to auto-start your breaks, auto-start your work. Sometimes you want to start it manually after every session, so you can just decide. And then here you decide whether to uh, show or hide your status bar or keep your iPhone awake. I prefer to keep the iPhone awake so I can see the timer at a glance, and I also prefer to hide the status bar so I can have less distractions. And then here you have a profile which you can edit and add information about yourself or, or just something to motivate you. Um, so I'll get into the work session now. Uh, so as you can see, um, I've just started a 25 minute work session and this timer will go down. So if I tap on the timer, I can pause it. And if I long press, I can um, either finish the work session or cancel the timer. So let me cancel the timer. As you can see down here, there are four dots in four chunks. So each of these dots represents a 25 minute work session. The short gaps between the dots represent the five minute breaks and the long gaps represent my 20 minute breaks. So um, I usually start working at 10 a.m. for example. So at 10 a.m. I would tap on this and then you kind of see an animation there like counting down and also there's a blinking animation here showing that you're on the fast Pomodoro room. So let's see if I can finish this finish work session. And then it starts your short break. So now I'm on my short break. And then I can finish this short break. And then as you can see, it starts my next dot. The next dot starts pulsating. That shows I'm on my next Pomodoro. And the idea is to continue like this throughout your day. Um, and by the end of the day, like it makes you way more productive than if you, for example, how I used to do it before is, I used to say, for example, that for this hour I'm going to be working on this, and then for that hour I'm going to be working. I'm going to be working on that. Um, but then you realize um, you get pretty tired in the middle. Like it gets exhausting sometimes to try to work for like a whole hour without any 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 kind of uh, breaks in between. So this is just a a really cool way of managing your time, and you it the time goes pretty fast. By the by the end of the day, you'll have found yourself like having done so much work. 
um, using this uh, using this method of organizing your time. You do not necessarily need to use an app. You can use a timer on your phone. You can use anything. Uh, but this really helps. So now let's look at some of my statistics. Um, so in the last seven days, it looks like I've done 10 minutes. Uh, I, okay, current trends. Last 27 days, I've done 37 minutes. Okay, so I'm not sure. Is this 37 hours or? Uh, this month, 22 hours. Uh, total hours of focused work. I've done one day, 19 hours and 30 minutes of focused work. I've had this up since, since September 20th. And as you can see here, you can see a graph of kind of your statistics and how long you're able to pull through. So it looks like um, on August 28th, I did a bunch of work. Um, but then recently, I've just kind of been finishing maybe um, 10 or 12 Pomodoros before my day ends or before something else comes up that I need to go and do that does not involve this Pomodoro. Um, but if you're sitting down to do just a, a bunch of work, I highly, highly recommend that you check out um, this app called Emphasis. It's currently only available on iOS, but there is a very similar version of of, of this app um, for Android, which I will link in the description below. So for the rating for this app, I really love it and it's genuinely helped me improve my life. And I will therefore give emphasis a 10 out of 10. I genuinely love this app. There's nothing I, I would change about it. It's currently completely free. I don't think they're charging for anything. Um, but I, I, I genuinely love that what this app has been able to help me do. So this is one of those rare 10 out of 10 apps. It's been long, but I really love Emphasis. It's one of my favorite apps. And just to show you, it's one of the apps I even put on my home screen. So um, I, it's something I try to use every day because it really boosts my productivity. And uh, I highly recommend that you check it out. Either way, that's it for this week. Comment, like, subscribe, and suggest apps for me to review in the description. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.